What's going on YouTube? Guya here, bringing you entry number 8, I believe, of our Minecraft Journal series. Uh, I've done a little bit off screen, not a whole lot. We'll uh, go through what we've done. I added a carrot farm over here. I'm gonna fix that little spot. Added the carrot farm, got the one carrot from the zombie. Is that someone out there? Yeah, that is. Got the one carrot, put it over here, bone milled it until we got a decent little farm going. More or less just for aesthetic purposes. It looks kind of nice. But I've done a little bit of terraforming here. Not a whole lot. Let's just get rid of this guy. He's in the way. A little low on that one. Just a little terraforming. Filling in a few little holes. I cleared out this little mountain here that was just kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Aggravating me. A little more, uh, a little more dirt and grass blocks filling in here. I just wanted it to look nicer. So th I think this is quite a bit nicer. That's that's the entrance to the going down below. There's his stuff. I don't need it. Spent quite a bit of time here collecting, getting gaining levels and different things. But really, not much. Not much has changed out here. Did a little terraforming. I got rid of all the floating blocks. Those those bother me. Did a little terraforming up there, a little bit of an overhang, a little one over there. Just small things. Those things I'm okay with doing off off, uh, off the camera, but there are bigger things I don't want to do that off camera because that's kind of the point of doing this. So let me head down into the underground area. I'll see you when we get down there and I'll show you what we've done down there. Alright guys. As we come in, I have moved these stairs over just a little bit. Just I think it looks nicer like this. But the biggest thing I've done down here is I've added glowstone. I've added a lot of glowstone. It took forever to find all this glowstone. Y'all seen where I spawned in at the nether. It took forever to find a path over to getting all this glowstone. The only good thing that came from it, other than actually getting the glowstone, was I did find the a fortress. Let's see here. I feel like we need another one. That's a little better, I guess. I, mean, I did find a fortress while I was doing all this. I've not been in it yet, but I found a fortress. Uh, it took, I think it actually took longer to put this glowstone up than anything. Having to pillar up, place it, move over a few blocks, pillar up, place it. But it was worth it. I, I ignored all the other blocks for right now, the iron and the coal. We'll get that. There's plenty of time to do that. But other than that, I've just terraformed a little bit down here. Not much. Cleaned it up some. I guess I cleaned out this area. Because the mountainside did come straight across here. And it didn't leave a whole lot of room. So I cleaned this up. I think I'll put a fountain over here on this side. we got the lava one over there. Put a water one over here. Different things. We are going to... Uh, let's see, I did a little bit to the strip mine. Not much. I don't guess I don't know if I've even been down here with you all yet, but here's our straight mine. I've only done this one. I've gone multiple hundred blocks that direction, but that's the only one I've done so far. And I cleaned out this area. Found quite a bit cleaning out this one. So, not a bad haul. Not a bad haul. We're gonna definitely not gonna keep this underground design. I'm going to make it look nice. I might make it look like a real mine shaft, putting the wood down there and different things. Let's see, I've also cleared out our storage room area. I've got an idea for the design I want to put in here. I'm going to probably have some of those automatic minecarts uh, furnaces right here and there. Some anvils and everything's here. Just going to make it look really, really spiffy, really needio and stuff. But that's pretty much all I've done since the last, last entry. I'm trying my best not to do too much because I like this world I enjoy playing on it the only problem is I record it so it's kinda hard to do much open up this area we're gonna clean this out a little bit give us some more room so the only recording every other day Monday Wednesday Fridays it gets a little difficult to not play so then this is our pool room again not working on it but I did open this area up and that's what we're going to work on today we're going to do an automatic fish farm inside of here and I think we're going to go ahead and create a 
small tree farm up top, just temporary. That way we can have more wood and different things. I really want the fish farm because I need, oh, I need mending books. I mean, look at this. It's This pick is hurting. It's, it's getting down there. Not that I want to use this one all that much. I'd rather put it on this one. Combine this one and this one and just build a great pick and get mending on it. So that's what we're going to work on today. That fish farm and the uh, small tree farm. Not much, nothing special. But now that we got bone meal, we can do that. As you can tell, I've been collecting granite. I uh, found a slime when I came down here. There was a big slime right here. I'm hoping there's a slime chunk pretty close. Or if this is part of it, that would be amazing. Yeah, uh, get some more slime balls going. But other than that, just stuff I've collected while cleaning up. So let me get the supplies, and we're going to get to work on. Uh, let's. We're going to start up top. Let's go up top, see the daytime. We've seen a lot of this cave lately. We'll start off doing the small automatic tree farm. semi automatic tree farm. Be back in a minute. Alright guys. Uh, this is where we're going to build our, our automatic tree farm. Very simple, very basic. I've already got it kind of ready for us. All, everything you need here. You'll see. It's, it's, this isn't a tutorial, but... It's going to be easy enough. You should be able to follow along. If not, you can at least get the concept of it. It's very simple. But like I said, when we uh, when we first got the skeleton farm up and going, got all those extra bones, that has opened up numerous possibilities for us. We can do the tree farm. I'm going to have all kinds of different farms going. Let's see. There's my stone plate. Let's put our pressure plate right here. And then I can knock this one out because let's see, that's down in here. Okay, this is where. No, don't need that. I need a torch here. Let's just fill this part in just a little bit. We'll put a thingy here. Put a torch. I actually need to fill in a little more. Hope I can reach that. Good. Good, 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 good. With that. There's our redstone clock. And then, let's see here. With that redstone torch, it should turn off. Oh, it won't turn off because I've got the repeater right below it. Dur, dur, dur. Let's just move that. What if I put a torch there? Take this one. And we'll just bring this out this way. Don't need those. We'll just move this stuff around. Well, this, this should turn it off. Or turn it on. This gives a constant signal, or not. Uh, we'll get this straight here in a second, guys. Let me see here. I think I know the best way to do this. It's best if I just have the uh, that going straight into redstone. So we'll just move all this back one. And then I know it'll work. This will definitely work. Should have done it this way to begin with. There we go. See? That one, yeah. Not tutorial. Not tutorial. Step on there, and it turns on. Perfect. I'm going to go sleep off the night. I'll be right back. Hey right, guys. Now that it is daytime, and we don't have to worry about things coming out to kill us, all we have to do now is uh, connect everything. So let's bring this out. There we go. Don't need one there. That does absolutely no good. And boom. Now. Okay, I think we can turn that signal up a little bit. What do y'all think? No, it won't hurt anything. Let's go. You know, let's go two. Two ticks. Grab my dirt back. Definitely got to have my dirt. Hard to plant trees. When you ain't got dirt. 
That'll work. That will do just fine. Like I said, I know this is not pretty. All this redstone out in the open. But this is temporary. Very, very temporary. Let's grab a little bit of bone meal. Yeah. I'm Grab some bone meal, we'll toss, just toss three of each in here for the moment. And with this, that's, oh, good. In that case, we'll toss one more. There we go. Now, all that's left is to grab a couple saplings. With this design, we can do any of the trees we want. Let's see here. I've got saplings somewhere. All this mess. I can't wait to get all this nice and clean. There's some oak saplings. I think that's all I've got at the moment. But you can do the four or the two by two trees. You can do the one by the trees. You know what? I want to do it this way. Let's do four. I probably should put a ceiling on this to keep uh, keep the trees from growing into the really big ones. But there we go. Then all you do is take your axe. Let me find a safe way through here. And we've got wood. Plenty of wood to work with. And like I said, it'll work with dark oak. It works with jungle. It works with all of them. I will make a fully automatic one. Uh, maybe not fully automatic. I know Tango's got one. Tango Tech's got a design out that doesn't involve the wither, but at least a better, bigger tree farm than this. The cop that crushes the leaves and stuff. So, now that this one's done, I'll just let those decay. I need more saplings eventually anyway. I'm going to run and grab our stuff that we need to do the fish farm. Alright guys, I'm back. I had to clean, clear out this little extra. I need a little more room. These spots were all stinking silverfish. I'm getting attacked by them everywhere down here. They're all over the place. I don't know, but they, they tend to like me. It's quite aggravating. Quite frankly, it's very aggravating. So, let's see here. I actually need to fill that one in real quick. That way we can get some stuff going. Um, let's see here. There we go. I think. Possibly. Uh, you know what? Better yet. You know, I, I don't like this idea. Let, let's move it all over one. Move it all over one. Now this design is uh, by Panda. I don't know the last of the digits for Panda's uh, name, well, oh well. But this is definitely not my design. This is too way too good to be anything I could ever come up with. So this is by uh, by Panda. I will have a link in the description for their tutorial. They did a fantastic job on this. I mean, it is ridiculous how good this is, and it works so well with 1.9 that uh, I mean. If you're not using, if you're playing 1.9 and you're not using this, what is wrong with you? It with the mending, it's just too perfect. Way too perfect. Let's see here. Uh, I need my torches. I need redstone torches. Why? Why? Do, oh, I put all my redstone torches up. I'll be back in just a minute with redstone torches. Alright guys, luckily I had managed to re uh, mine some redstone out over there and had it in my chest. I was a little worried, I'm not going to lie. But, uh, yeah, let's see here. Um, I actually think that all this needs to go up one more level. And I don't feel like doing that, so... We're just going to take it all down one more level. Because why not? There we go. Yeah, there we go. That's that's more like it. Now, I need 
another block right there as I destroy it because that's what I'm good at let's just toss us some redstone dust right there and a torch there hmm Hey, I need that string. <sighs> Come on now. Leave it to me to complicate very simple things. It should. Hmm. Is why does that create a clock? There's nothing in here setting off this. Guys, I'll be back as soon as I figure this out. All right, guys, I figured it out. I had the stone stairs on the wrong side. Leave it to me to make the most simple mistakes and take forever to figure it out. But I think I finally got it. It's so simple. Yeah, I mess it up every time. Yep, there we go. Then you just sit here, you fish. You wait. When you catch something, the door opens, you get it. And you cast again. So simple. And the last project, the one I mentioned I kind of want to do. Didn't tell you really what we are doing. Because I want an easier way down. Now coming down is not hard. Coming down through here is not hard at all. Very simple. Very, very, very easy. I am going to... Uh, easy coming down. I can take a little damage falling here and there. There's water stuff. But I want it to be easier. So I'm thinking... Right... Let's see. It needs to be somewhere kind of out of the way. This, this place is kind of out of the way, isn't it? That's pretty out of the way. Oop, better yet. Better yet. Right here. Right there. I know exactly how I want to do it. Awesome. Four. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now let's see here. I'm thinking these four right here. There we go. Bet y'all can guess what we're going to do with this. Let me get the coordinates typed up here or written down. I guess I'm back. We have found our secret entrance, it looks like. Over here. I think it's these. I hope it's these. If it's not these four, then... Uh, I'll just have to uh, come back and clean up a little bit, but it should be pretty close to these four. I think I'm going to put some torches all the way down with me. I hope it's these four. So I think I'm going to time lapse this one. I know I've done a lot of skipping in this episode, so I think we're going to do some time lapsing. And I'll see you on the other side. Alright guys, there we go. We have ourselves a uh, much simple, simpler uh, path down now. I think it's lined up. I don't even know. So I'm going to skip to the top one last time and uh, take a good look at it and jump down and I'll see you in a minute. Here you guys, we're back up top. 
I did do the, uh, I made sure all four of these were precise coordinates and stuff. Put me some trapdoors and stuff. I only really need one, but let's see if I can. Aw. Oh. I missed it. Oh well. But we now have a much, much easier way down. Now if only I could find an easy way up. Got to figure out that elevator sometime. But guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this entry. I believe our next project is, now that I've got a fish farm, a certain so-called friend has asked me to do stuff they know I don't like. And that is create a cat shrine. So, next episode, we are going to set forth looking for a jungle. We're going to find the jungle, hope to find some cats, and we are going to build what is known as Carrie's Cat Shrine. Or Carrie's Cat Catastrophe. Something, I don't know. We'll figure out a name for it. But that's going to be on the next episode, or the next entry, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button for me. I would super, super appreciate it. And if you really enjoyed it, make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button. That way you can keep up to date with what's going on, slowly but surely. This world is uh, turning into something. I don't know what that something is yet, but it's getting there. And other than that, guys, you know the rest. Have fun, be good, and we'll see you all next time. Minecraft Wii U, a world rich in pixelated beauty. Where near limitless resources and untold riches abound in every chunk. But for the unwary adventurer, danger and instant death wait around every tree. It is into these unwelcoming circumstances that we drop our unwitting pair of Minecraft noobs. Kuya, a burgeoning redstone engineer and part-time spelunker, together with Gavisas, an obsessive digger and occasional mega-builder. With less than nine months of combined experience surviving in this wild and untamed wilderness between them, what will happen when these two get lost in Minecraft?